Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another workout uh, of the follow alongs. Today we've got legs. This is probably gonna be the hardest one that we do for this whole first program, but uh, keep with me, we'll get through it and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So we're gonna start off with, we'll do a little body weight um, warm up to start on off with. We'll hit some weights uh, and then we'll crank some cardio to finish off. Let's bloody do it, let's get into it. Alrighty, so for a bit of a warm up today, we're gonna to do some body weight squats before we use our weights uh, for all the other bits and pieces. So let's get body weight squatting. Let's just go three sets of 15, let's see how we go. Um, so just when we, uh, when we, obviously when we first start, might be a little bit cold, mobility might not be great, might be a little bit tight through your hips. So we'll do a bit of a, this little warm up one, I'll show you a couple of stretches as well, just to get uh, a little bit more depth about it. I think that's eight, nine's that's good work. 10, keep dropping them up nice and low, just making sure you're forcing through your heels the whole time, that your heels are staying on the ground, you're getting down to at least 90 degrees. And we're happy, good job, chill out there. So if your hips are a little bit uh, tight or you're or abductors, uh, what I'd recommend, a little ballerina one, this one always really helps me. So pop your heels together. What you want to do is put your legs then straight and you like push your hips forward and you feel this wicked stretch all up your groin, all up in here. Oh yeah, getting a close up there, Austin. There we go, yeah, he's nodding, yeah, yeah. It's a good close up, that groin bit. But you feel right up there. Uh, really helps with just getting a little bit more range of your squat. So chill out there for a sec. Just do another one. Bring them out a little bit wider. Pop the hips forward. Squeeze in the glutes. Push your hips forward. Lovely. Alrighty, let's go another 15 just to get a little bit lower. Here we go. Job twos. Threes, good work. And uh, yeah, I wonder if your chest and triceps are a little bit uh, stiff from yesterday. Um, if they are, like I said, we don't really, we're not gonna be using anything in this workout that's gonna require them really. We've got one little bit, we've got some shoulder taps uh, for some upper body uh, later on a shoulder press, but your shoulders should be fine. It should just be more your chest and triceps. And that's why we program everything this way. Cool, and relax there. Two we do, let's get into it. Alrighty, so we're gonna need uh, your dumbbells. We're gonna do dumbbell squats. So it's the same, we're using the same movement, we're squatting. However, we're gonna be holding your dumbbells on the side of your body to add a little bit more load. If you've got a heavier one, get your heavy ones out here. This is your big compound move. This is the, the, um, the, uh, the most strong you're gonna be for any of the uh, exercises here. So make sure we get our chest up, weights on the side, down nice and low. Let's pump those legs. We're gonna aim for 10 reps, cool? If obviously you're feeling like you get to 10 and it was too easy, go 15, go 15 or 20, pump a few more. You got six for me. I'm talking so much, I keep forgetting to count. Let's go, nine and 10. Good job, shake them out, good work. First set done, good work. Good mouthful of water, good stuff. Doing well. Like I said, if your weights that you've got at home are pretty light, do a few extra. We'll have a little bit of time in between here that you can chill out or you know catch up to your next set. So no rush, good work. Alrighty, let's get into the next one. Let's see what we can do. And we're on, let's go, let's get squatting, get your 10. So if you are still struggling for depth, you can't quite get to 90 degrees with your squat, what I recommend, pop your toes out, let's get a little bit more depth, just opens up your hip joints a little bit. Um, that'll allow you to just get a little bit lower. Make sure we get your 10 out. Oh God, I've lost track again, eights, nines, 10, that'll do. Finish your sets, good work. Oh. Really quad heavy, these ones here. Really feeling it in that, good work. So the other exercises that we got today, we've got RDLs and we've got lunges. Uh, and yeah, this is the biggest workout, the hardest workout for this whole new program. So we get through this one, the rest of the week will be bloody easy. Upper body stuff, easy as. All right, let's get our last set of squats in. And then we're going into RDLs. Here we go. Get your tail, I'm gonna count these ones this time. Threes, fours, good work. Five, chest up the whole time. Six, three heels, seven, eight, two to go, nine. Bloody beautiful, nicely done. All right, next one, we've got RDL. So an RDL, straight leg deadlift, Romanian deadlift. Uh, this one's working your hamstrings and your glutes. Just do one, just, uh, just again, warm it up. Soft knees, so don't lock your legs out straight. Soft knees, roll your shoulders back, lower back straight, and just tip forward with your hips. And that stretch in the hamstring, that's what we're after. Cool, and then we're gonna hold some weights at the front of us in just a second uh, to load up a little bit more. All right, let's get into it and see how we go. How we hold the weights at the front. We're gonna pretend it's a barbell, pretend they're connected, cool. Roll your shoulders back, keep them really, really close to your legs the whole time, rolling up and down. And when you come to the top of the rep, 
I want you to throw your, thrust your hips forward. Down, thrust forward. We're going for 10 reps, here we go. Thrusting forward, feel the stretch. Make sure that lower back's nice and straight and your chest is up and your nose is the furthest point at all times. Sevens, good work. And we just after a stretch feeling of the hamstring. If you're feeling anything in your lower back, you just need to keep that a bit straighter when you get that chest up. Whew. Nice work and relax. Good work. If you feel like you didn't quite get that movement, don't worry about the weights today. We'll just do what we're just doing in the warm-ups and let's just get that little tilt action of the hips happening. Go for 10 reps today. And over the next few weeks of following this program, we'll build it up and we'll get better at them, all right? Good work. Good job. Big breaths in, far out. Forgetting to breathe this whole time. All righty, let's get our second set in. Let's see how we go. Lock those weights in together. Roll the shoulders back. Feel the stretch in the hammy. Keep those dumbbells really, really close to your body the entire time. Good work. And up there, feeling the hammy stretch. There's fours. Lower back, straight the whole time. Fives. Six, nose the furthest point. Seven. Eight, thrusting the hips up up the top there. Nine. And 10, great job. Beautiful work. One more uh, set of that, good work. Really good, really good. They're a tough one. They're a big compound move as well. Um, so it means they're using multiple muscles. We're obviously working your legs, your hamstrings, your glutes, but because you're having to hold the weight, it's working your back, it's working your shoulders, it's working your arms, it's working a bit of everything. That's why it's such a tough workout legs compared to um, you know, the upper body stuff. It's a little bit more isolated, which is smaller muscles. Here we go, last set of 10. Let's get them pumping, get those RDLs in. If you're feeling it in your back, just do those little tip forwards like I was just talking about before. Let's pump this last set out. Nicely done, feel that stretch in the hammy. Good work. Six, seven, get your tens out, no rush. Eights, good work. Nine and 10. Lovely, nailed it. Hey, great job on the RDLs. They're really tricky, really good. The next one we got, have a little second off. We've got lunges. So we're gonna go for 20 total. I'm just gonna do them on the spot. If you've got room at your, your place, your living room, wherever you're doing this, to go up and down or walk with them, absolutely do that. I'm just gonna do them on the spot for today. Um, so we're gonna have a dumbbell each hand. For on the spot, we're always gonna be stepping back. So from this position here, I'm doing a nice big step backwards. My toes, the point of contact on the ground, and my heels, the point of contact on the ground. All the weight's going through my front heel. I'm dropping my back knee, and I'm stepping back into the lunge. Just like that. Cool, all righty. Get your set started. We're going for 20 reps. 20 reps, that'll be 10 each side. There's five, good work. Six, nice work, doing really well. Seven, keep banging them out. Let's get these reps done. Eight, keep your chest up. Nine, nicely done. 10. If you're feeling too unbalanced uh, with using the weight, just do body weight today. And again, we'll build up over the next few weeks, few days of following these programs. I think that's 16. Nice work. Do a few more. Just finish off your set. Make sure you get all your 20 in. Work, guys. And relax. Beautiful. Nicely done. Give it a second. Oh, they are one of the hardest ones again because they're such a big compound move. They're using a bit of everything. Because one leg is being worked more at one time, the, uh, it's the balance of it as well that make them so tricky, but really good. The good thing about doing compound moves, these big moves, is they burn more calories when you're doing them because they're requiring so much more energy. They're requiring more muscles to actually perform. All right, let's go. Let's get this next one in. Next one, let's get your 20s up. Here we go. Stepping on back. Make sure all that uh, weight is going through that front heel, dropping your back knee. Get your 20s out, on the spot, walking, do whatever you're doing, nicely done. And tell you what girls, these ones are great for the booty. These get the booty growing hard. Good job. That's 12, I think. 13s, get your 20s out guys, do them really well. 14s, 15 if you're using the body weight, not a problem. We'll build up over the next few weeks. 17, 18, looking great. 19s, and 20, sensational. Oh. We got one more, damn, one more set of them. Give it a second, good work. Had a coffee before this, I can taste that like gross coffee taste in my mouth every rep I'm doing, great. Oh, one more, doing really well. Oh, it's just hard, legs is hard. Legs is hard, but it's good. Like I said, doing the bigger moves to start it off with, um, 
because they require so much more muscle control. They require more energy to do so. You want to do them when you're fresh. Imagine jumping around and doing burpees and shoulder pressing, crunches and whatever that we're about to do and then doing this. There's been no way. That's why we want to do it first. All righty, pick those weights up. Let's get clanging. Let's get banging. Let's finish this off. Let's get your 20s in. Fours, good work. Five, sixes, good stuff. Seven, looking really good. Eights, nine, pumping them out. Let's go, let's get these 20. 10, my legs are heavy as fuck. 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm probably expecting to be a little bit sore tomorrow as well. 17s, 18s, because again, they're such big muscles. 19, 20, good work. Finish off your 20, chill yourself out, good work. Have a mouthful of water. Have a little couple of seconds here because we're about to get into the cardio. The cardio, we're gonna do the same as workout one. We've got 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Our exercises today are shoulder taps. Shoulder taps are like this. Uh, I'll bring this forward, sorry. Shoulder taps are down like a push up. Great, so on a mat, on the floor, whatever. And we're gonna be tapping your opposite shoulder whilst keeping your butt uh, in line with the rest of your body. Uh, the next one, we've got burpees. Fuck me, all right, I regret this already. We're gonna go big jump up for a burpee, cool. I'm gonna go chest on the ground, and then we're gonna go big jump up again. So if the microphone hits a little bit, I'll tuck my shirt in, and I jump up again, cool. If you can't quite do a full burpee, just a jump up and a step out, step in is great today, all right? And again, we'll build up over the next few weeks so you can perfect it. Uh, the next one is a crunch. A crunch is on a mat. We're going like this, feet on the ground, a little halfway like that. Or alternatively, you can also have your hands here and stretching so your fingernails go over the top of your knees. Cool? And then the last one, we've got a shoulder press. So the shoulder press is we're gonna do a standing shoulder press. We're gonna up like this over the top of your head. I'm gonna get a slightly uh, lesser weight before we start. Alrighty, I'm about to start the timers. Have your last little drink. Let's get ready to go. Here we go, let's go. We've got shoulder taps, let's get into it. 30 seconds worth, down on the ground like a push up, tapping away to your opposite uh, shoulder there. Great work. And just make sure your butt is in line with the rest of your body. Don't have it up like this. We do not want that. We want it down, nice and low, but we also don't want it too low. We want it just in line. Tapping the shoulder side to side, good work. And just transferring that body weight left and right. All right, what about another five seconds? Good work, ready? Threes, twos. And relax there, great job, fantastic. 15 seconds break, good work. We got burpees next, fuck me. All right, come on, let's get through these. Tuck your shirts in, I'll tuck it in. Sorry about the heavy breathing into the microphone if this happens in a second. We're gonna go all the way down to the ground if you can, if not, just to step out, step in and sweep. Here we go, big jump out, chest on the ground. Here we go, big jump up again, lovely work. Oh, the burpees, everyone hates them, but I tell you what, they're pretty good for you. Get them up, we'll feel better once they're done, I promise. Down, chest on the ground, big jump up, beautiful. And a little tip when you're down here, push up with your arms as fast as you can so you can get a bit of space so your legs can get up. Good work, big jump up. If you're doing the step out, step in, that's also great. Keep those going and relax. Oh, good work, all right. Crunches on the ground, lay down for a second. Oh, don't do anything until we have to, lay down. Relax, just chill down here, all right. We got three, two, one, let's get crunching up, here we go. So they're just those little halfway sit-ups. We need to do them with your hands over your chest like I'm doing them here, or you can chuck your hands on your legs and slide them up. Completely up to you. Good job. They're fucked either way. Keep going, good job, keep crunching them up. Doing great, everyone. Really nice, keep sliding. Feel those top four abs fry up, absolutely fry up. Keep going, ready, threes, twos. One, and relax, good work. All righty, right for shoulder presses. Unfortunately, the gym that we're using went from 10 to five. What a shame, we have to use fives, but use uh, whatever you got at home, all right? We got our shoulder presses up here, over the top of your head like that. It's quite a long time, here we go, let's get your 30 on. It's quite a long time to actually have something over your head for though. So really pace them out, right? Your shoulders aren't a particularly strong muscle, especially above your head. So just make sure you're pacing this 30 out. Don't be a hero is what I'm saying. Good job, nice stroke, doing really well. Pacing them out. I'm just saying that because I don't want to fucking do too many. Keep going. Nice stroke. Keep banging them out. We've got five more seconds. Ready? Fives, fours, 
Three, two, done, baby. Good job. Really good. Give yourself a sec. We're back down for some shoulder taps next one. Good work. All right, second round. Let's get into this. Doing really well. Two more to go, and we're done for leaks today. It's a big workout today. You've done really good. All right, here we go. Side to side, tapping those shoulders for 30. Let's get them on. Nicely done. I should get a timer with a beep. I'm gonna have to do the beep for everyone, I reckon. Keep going, keep tapping those side to side. Good stuff. Nice work. Oh, keep just swaying that body weight side to side, just ever so slightly. Feeling your shoulders work, feeling the abs. Oh yeah, it's a proper, proper burn in the abs. A little side to side there, doing really well. Threes, twos, and relax. Bloody excellent, good work. Ha, ah, burpees, all right, let's go. Let's get the second one in, tuck them in. Let's get ready to go, tuck them in, let's get ready. Don't do any until we really have to. All right, three, two, all right, let's go. Big jump up, chest on the ground, good work. Push your upper body up to get a little bit of space so your legs can jump on in and get them landing flat. Good work. If we're doing the step out, step in variation, also not a problem. And we'll progress over the next few weeks. Doing real nice. Oh my God, there's still bloody 12 seconds to go. Keep going. Down, just on the ground. Oh, big jump up. Fives, fours, threes, two, and one. Oh, what a shame, didn't get the last one. Good work. Nicely done. We've got 15 seconds break. We've got crunches down on the ground. Let's do it. Oh, have a lay down. Catch your breath. Oh yeah. Pray. Do whatever you need to do. Let's get ready. Here we go. Get them in. Get these crunch up and down. Here we go. Little half ones. Good stuff. We can do this variation or also the sliding variation. Whatever. Good job. Keep those crunching up and down. We're doing really well, guys. Keep with me for the rest of it. We'll be uh, more, than, oh, we're more than halfway now. How good is that for the cardio? Fantastic. We've got another five seconds. Ready? Fives, fours, three, two, and done. Good work. All right, shoulder presses to finish off the second round. We're doing great, doing really well. Let's get your weights up. Let's get these arms burning. And again, we're just gonna pace out for the 30 seconds. Don't go too fast, we wanna keep them up for the whole timer that we got here. Here we go, we're on 30 seconds worth. I keep forgetting to beep. Here we go, get them up, there we go. Saw on the way down, over the top of your head, meet them just over the top, don't actually clang them together, just before was good. Oh my goodness, arms are cooking. Here we go, keep hitting these up. Doing bloody fantastic, everyone. Over the top of your head. We've got five more seconds, rep them out. Fours, threes, two, we're done. Really good. We've got one more round. Go beep, one more round. Here we go. Good work, doing well. Let's see what we can do. Mouthful of water, let's get ready to pounce. All right, we've got the shoulder taps. Beep, time is on, let's go. One, three, get your 30 seconds. It's your last round. Let's push it out. It's been a massive workout today. Really heavy one with some big moves, all right? Let's get through. Let's keep working it. Let's keep clanging. Let's keep banging. Keep ripping it, tearing it, working it, burning it. Doing well everyone at home. Keep banging them out, come on. Get those shoulder taps in. We'll feel fucking better after this. Let's go. Fives, fours, threes, two, and done. Great work. One more load of burpees and that's it. I don't think I put burpees in for the rest of this program. It's the last one we have to do to finish off these, uh, this first uh, program that we're filming today. Good job. Alrighty, fours, three, two, let's go. Big jump up. Chest on the ground, it's your last 30 seconds worth. Let's see what we can do with them. Let's really bang them out. Oh, and, oh tuck my shirt in. Save me a few seconds, good work. Yeah, big jump up. Lovely job. Mind the heavy breathing, body matches heavy fucking breathing in the microphone, keep it going. Oh, nice job, big jumps up. Chest on the ground again. Keep hitting these up and down, doing really, really well. Last few seconds, guys, working hard. And beep, done, good job. Flip on over. We've got crunches. Last ones for the crunches. Oh, how good. How's the feeling when the burpees are done? Best, all right. Fours, threes, two, beep. Let's go, let's get crunching. Good work. Crunch them up, looks great. Either a little half rep like I'm doing now or the slide variation, whatever you like. Keep hitting these up. Oh. 
No one else getting hungry? I am. Keep going. Get them up. A couple of seconds. We've only got shoulder press to go. And that's his workout all wrapped up. It's been a massive one, this one. The next two, I promise, are not way near as heavy as this. Three, two, and relax. Beautiful. All right. Shoulder presses and we're done. Let's get these up. Let's rep them out for the last 30 seconds. And today's done. Enjoy your rest of your day. The workout's finished. The hard work's done. You deserve it. Here we go. Beep. 30 seconds. Good work. Over the top of your head. Just rep them out. Keep your head nice and straight as well. Don't be twisting your neck when you're doing these ones here. Keep everything nice and straight. Good work. Keep them pumping. That's great. We've got 15 seconds. Keep hitting them up. Elbows just in line with the shoulders. Pump them over the top of the head just before you meet your head. Oh, sorry, meet the uh, dumbbells over the top of your head. Fours, threes, come on. Two, oh, done. Good work. Chuck those weights down. Hey, fantastic workout. That was really heavy. That was really hard, but you did great to get through that. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, we've got Bison back our next workout. Did really well. Fantastic work, guys.